Hi folks, John Richardson. After almost 27 years, holding up another trailer. This happens to be a brand new 2017 22 foot. You're looking for a little lightweight trailer, around 4,000 pounds, aluminum frame, smooth fiberglass sides, doesn't cost you an arm and a leg. You got a two year bumper to bumper warranty with plywood floors, aluminum frame construction. This is it. Jayco J Feather. Feather representing light. Block foam insulation, inch and three quarter. Consequently, you'll notice it's a small trailer. You don't need a great big propane tank. So we give you a five gallon tank, we fill it up. We give you an electric jack so that you can raise and lower your trailer. We give you an A-frame that's built into the frame. Notice right here how it's not welded down underneath the frame, but it's cut into the frame. My other videos explain what the advantage of that is. You don't have to worry about going over a bumpy road and a well breaking and one side of your A-arm drops down. So I'll show you some pointers here. Got a little tiny bit of space right here. Not much, just enough to keep your, you know, utensils for putting down your jacks. And the reason for it, as you're going to see, is because this guy's got a Murphy bed in it. Remember the old Murphy beds that dropped down out of the wall so that it gave you more room inside? They Put that into use in a trailer because it's a small trailer it's 22 foot so why fill up six seven feet of it with a bed I'll show you why so here before we go inside I'll point out smooth fiberglass sides alloy wheels to keep the trailer looking good no rust outside kitchen complete with a sink Two burner stove, works just like the old camping stoves do for wind, that type of thing. Area here to put plates, that type of utensils, and a little refrigerator to keep whatever you need cold right out here on the outside. Of course everything pushes back in, out of sight, out of mind, you can drop the, drop the door down. Now this is kind of a unique set up here so you don't have to worry about the drawer. All you got to do is push in, raise that up, bingo. Nobody knows you got an outside kitchen. Of course we got a place to hook the TV up should you desire. Slaps in right here, hooks in right here where it says cable TV, antenna, electrical outlets, a very nice splash guard here. Now we'll go inside, just remember, 22, Bunkhouse Murphy, BHM. I'll also point out here, if you have the notion and you want to put solar on it, it's already pre-wired for the solar for a 20 amp solar panel to keep your battery up should you be boondocking for a while. Now here, because it's a small trailer, everybody wants to have walk around queen bed, they want to have a couch, they want to have a booth. You ask them, well, how the heck are you going to put all that in a small trailer? Well, John, I don't know, but I've heard that they make them. Well, you're in one. So in the daytime, we got a couch. I don't want somebody sitting on the edge of my bed or having to lay on my bed while I'm talking to them. I like the idea of having a couch. I need a couch in the daytime, not a bed, because I go to bed at night. So, now let's just pretend it's nighttime. Well, John, now where am I going to sleep? On the couch? Nope, you're going to put the couch down, and you're going to drop the Murphy bed down. Here's the Murphy bed. Just like the sign says, now you see it, now you don't. So we need the bed. So we just grab a hold of this, bring her down. Now I got a full queen size bed, strap here to keep the mattress so that everything stays together. I get up in the morning, I want my couch back. All I do, 
tip her back up. Of course, you got a couple of locks. Just that quick. I'm back to your couch. When's breakfast ready, honey? Oh, I got to cook it myself? Oh, okay. Well, I got the coffee on anyway. So, here we are. We've got center kitchen. Nice big dual sink. Small side, big side. Galley faucet. AM, FM, CD player. Storage up here. Microwave right next to it. Two burner stove in lieu of an oven. How about another drawer? Nobody uses the oven anyway. They, if they do, it's for storage. So instead of putting oven in there, let's give you a drawer. Notice it's a five ply plywood with roller bearing drawer guide on it. Of course, cabinet underneath the sink. We got a booth here or in the event. Some kids are coming along. They got a place to crash out here because I've got this made up into a bed. All you got to do is drop your cushions down like so. There I got a bed for the kids. Of course I got to have some storage up here to put games, stuff like that for the kids. Gas struts, keep my fingers from getting smashed. Got a nice vent up here above your head. Got air conditioning here, and we've got two very, very nice bunk beds. So, even in a small trailer, you can sleep two, three, four, five, six people, complete with a little table, should you be in a spot that don't have a picnic table. Everybody grab the ones with the picnic table. You can take the empty one because you got a freestanding table here. How about that? Then, of course, we've got more cabinets here to store stuff. You know, all the stuff that we shouldn't have brought in the first place, but now we got a place to put it. So, right here outside the bathroom, we've got a sink with a mirror so I can brush what few teeth I got left. Cabinet up above it to store toothpaste, toothbrush hair, brushes, that type of thing. TV mounted right here that'll turn in any direction so I can see it from the couch, I can see it from the booth, I can turn it around this way, watch TV. Here it's all plywood construction. We've got, I don't know if you can see it, we've got storage here right underneath, a little bit of it. Got the thermostat located right here and then of course the throne room. There's the th throne room complete with a bathtub in it, a place to put your shampoo and soap, skylight, you got uh, towel, towel holders or robe holders, all laminate floor, and last but not least, Jayco puts a two-year bumper-to-bumper warranty on it. We all work on commission here. Of course, we got a refrigerator. I didn't tell you that, but it's got a four-cubic-foot refrigerator. It's a small trailer. You don't need a gigantic refrigerator. Really like to meet you. If you got any questions, call that number right here. Or better yet, just come on out, ask for the old guy, ask for JR. I'd love to meet you. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. I'm glad you did.